I'm Sarai. Welcome to the Eastern Echo Podcast. Hello, I'm Queso Tone. Welcome to the Eastern Echo Podcast. And today we are here with... Hello, my name is Dylan. I'm the president for Kings of Color. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome, man. appreciate you having... Well, we appreciate you coming on here. Glad to be here. Yes, appreciate y'all for inviting me. Absolutely. So, tell us a little bit about Kings of Color. What do you guys do? So Kings of Color is a predominantly black male org here on campus. Um, we educate, unify, and promote brotherhood, also build character and enrich the lives of college educated students through the organization. No, through the promotion of academic programs and community outreach. This organization will always serve as a home and family to those individuals who carry on our mission. So pretty much any um, black males here on campus, and we do accept women. Women do join our org, that's the Court of Queens. Um, you know, we accept them into our family. You know, we're a brotherhood. We're really family oriented, so we pretty much try to just uplift the campus here mm-hmm. for the black community. That's that amazing. That's awesome. That's amazing. It's so amazing they are um, doing that because when I got here on campus, that was one of the first things I was looking for were like people of my same community. You know, because it's definitely a culture shock, especially for you know young black students coming from high school. You know, they're getting here, they're getting in this environment. It's like a melting pot of people. So. Um, how do you? How would you say that Kings of Color helps like freshmen coming in, for example, uh, freshmen coming from predominantly black areas coming into this culture shock of a community? Uh, I would say it just it they would help them kind of I guess figure themselves out more. Mm-hmm. I feel like you know a freshman that was at like a PWI mm-hmm. like institution right. like in high school, right. and then you come here, or even like a, a high schooler that just came from like a predominantly black school and they just come here, it's right. like. It can be a lot, yeah. and you're trying to. I guess you're trying to find yourself, and you don't really know where to go. Right. So that, that's what, that's what we're here for. So we will help you, you know, find where you fit in, find your strengths, mm-hmm. you know, find where you're weak at. Cause also our or we help with like professional development as well too. So right. yeah, we are like family oriented. We focus on brotherhood, but we also focus on like uh, developing your professionalism. We want you to be the best person that you can be out there in the work field. Mm-hmm. So. That's yeah. amazing. That's yeah, amazing. awesome. And so you mentioned that it's mostly for males, but you have Queens of Court, is it? Yeah, Court of Queens. Yeah. Qu- court of Queens. How does that work? So we do have a process when you join our org. Um, it's nothing big. It's just you learn the information, like our history. Um, pretty much you meet the members that are in the organization. You We teach you how to do events. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. So like, with the women, they pretty much do the same thing that the men do. So they would do the process with them, and that's pretty much like their sisters. Wow. Uh, and yeah, it's just they, everything's the same. And at the end, you take a test to see like what you learned. Um, then there's the interview, and just want to test your interview skills out, see where you lack in, see what you can improve on. So yeah, all the process is the same for everybody. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I really like how you guys include um, women as well, because you know kings of color people automatically just assume it's only for men. But you know the fact that women can also be a part of such a community like that is amazing. So I yeah. want to commend y'all for that. Um, and, yeah, I really wanted to talk to y'all about, we'll talk to you about the Kings Week that y'all have coming up. So can you tell the people a little bit about that? I'll tell you about that. So we got Kings Week coming up in two weeks. That is February 20th through the 24th. Okay. Um, Monday we have Men's Mental Health, which I feel like that is mm-hmm. a very important event for the men here on campus that I think they should all attend. Absolutely. Uh, you know, just to learn more about your mental health and ways you can improve it, because I feel like the pandemic really kind of mm-hmm. impacted a lot of people's, you know, yeah. mental health. Um, a lot of people had anxiety, yeah. you know, just a lot of stuff. So just, it's an open discussion, open floor. You just talk about stuff that's going on in your life, stuff that's going on in the world. Mm-hmm. And then Tuesday, we have Moments of Color. Um, that's pretty, that's like our, that's going to be our sixth annual uh, event right there. We do that annually. Uh, that's pretty much where all the orgs come. We have them do a board on like a hidden historical uh, black figure, like somebody that's not known. So typically orgs wouldn't be doing like Malcolm X or Martin Luther King. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They would be doing somebody who didn't get the recognition back then. So like for an example, we did a person called Mansa Musa and he was like the richest black king and this is like thousands of years ago. Wow. Yeah, like he was the richest man on the planet. Awesome. So, yeah. So it's really it's a really nice event. You get to really learn a lot. Um 
I learned a lot. I learned something new every year when we had the event. So it's it's real fun. And then was it Tuesday, Wednesday? We have Family Feud. <laughs> Yo, Family Feud. That's my favorite. Uh, that was lit. If you don't know about that, you can come find out during the week. And that's <laughs> yeah, that's that's a fun event. We have uh, other orcs come and participate. And yeah, we got our quote unquote Steve Harvey coming. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be real nice. The ye Steve Harvey, no. I'm just ye Steve Harvey. <laughs> he will be there. No. He will be there. He will be there. And then on Thursday we have Kings Games. Mm. It's like a little spin off of Squid Games. So we that was like a pretty much a new event that we did last school year. Turned out very well. Turned by out the way. very nice. Very <laughs> nice. Very fun. It's, it will be a cash prize too for the winner at the Ooh. end. Yeah. Cash prize. How much? No, I'm okay. kidding. <laughs> You will see. You know, I feel like it's so funny because when we did the event, I don't know if y'all, y'all probably seen the series, but people that really, that was in the games and squid games, it was people that needed money, you know, low income. And we kind of did it to where it was like, oh, you know, we're broke college students. Yeah, broke right. college students. <laughs> we need money. <laughs> so, Kings games, like, y'all can do the obstacles, get some free money. So, yeah, that's pretty much what that's for. Yeah. Uh, Friday, we got community service, and we're going to be cooking pancakes at the church across the street. Mm. So, yeah, that's going to be like, I think, 10 to, I think, 1 in the morning. So, yeah, come get some pancakes nice. Friday. Yeah. Love wow, that's that. amazing. Kings week sounds Sounds late. You said that starts February 20th, the week of February 20th. Yeah, the week of February 20th. All right, y'all heard awesome. that week of February 20th, Kings Week. Support, y'all. Support. Show out. Have some fun. Sounds like a lot of fun stuff going on, too. Mm-hmm. You know, your boy was in the family feud uh, <laughs> last year. <laughs> last you know year. what I'm saying? We ain't win, but we was close. <laughs> Can I ask you who does all of this event planning? Is it like a team or is it just you and the VP? So it was me and my uh, vice president. Um, we just got new members now, so we got a team, Sorry, and we kind of, we're putting stuff together as a team now, so that's good. So, but before that, yeah, it was just me and um, just the two of you, just the two of us, holding yeah. it down, holding it down. <laughs> also, I remember we was talking about this earlier too, uh, especially during the pandemic. All right, y'all was still keeping it going. Like it shows how passionate you are about um, Kings of Color and uh, what Kings of Color has done for you. Yeah, and you I wanted to ask you, like, how has Kings of Color impacted you since you've been in there? Oh man. Impacted me a lot. I would say so. I joined fall 2019. Mm. Uh, my freshman year, I was kind of just focused on the books, which is nothing wrong with that. Right. You know, I was focused on school. I wanted to get my GPA up to the highest I can get it to. Yeah. Um, you know, sophomore year came. I'm like, okay, I gotta join something. I gotta do something. So I heard about Kings. Uh, they shared the same values that I shared, which is like community service, brotherhood, mm-hmm. and just doing positive things out. You know, impacting the world, impacting the black community. Right. Um, so, you know, when I first joined, I was kind of, I was a shy person. You know, I was kind of laid back, didn't want to be in the spotlight, didn't want to connect with people like that. Um, and I went through the process and then just started doing events and stuff. They pushed me to be the best that I can be, be the best man I can be. Uh, I've grown professionally. Um, I've been active on campus a lot. So I work in like two departments on campus. So I was, I would say I'm a... I'm a leader on campus. I would, yeah, you know, yeah, of course. a leader on campus. So like, I do a lot of things on campus. Uh, but yeah, they really pushed me to be the best I can be. And, you know, I'm continuing to be the best I can be. And I want to also just contribute that same uh, love that they did to me to other students here on campus, like freshmen, sophomores, juniors. That's, that's yeah. amazing. That's so important. I feel like for what Kings does for, um, for what Kings do for male youth on campus, especially with uh, what you were talking about, like uh, with Kings Week, the mental health mm-hmm. um, event that y'all are having, like it's so important. Like, I feel like as men, like we don't really get a lot of push. Yeah. Like a lot of push to like just you know be successful. Do you? You're doing good. Like you know words of affirmation and stuff like that. Like I feel like in the male community, like a lot of that stuff or stuff that's viewed as sensitive or things like that are really avoided. So it's like a lot of times. I feel like men are usually like just doing what they gotta do or just keeping it pushing to the best of their ability. But I feel like Kings adds that extra push that I feel like is needed for a lot of black youth. Cause like a lot of times, you know, it can almost feel like like you don't even matter sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like you don't even matter on campus. And you know, people, that's why like a lot of people don't vote or, you know, you can even talk about college, why a lot of people don't be popping out the events and things like that. You know, it'd be like, oh, it doesn't, you know, what well, me mean be in there gonna do? So. Yeah, I really like that, and I like how, um, you know, it's impacted you. Yeah, thank you, man. And I could tell it's an added leader 
qualities to you as well. Yeah. And that's why you're president. Yeah. <laughs> president. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's amazing though. Thank you, thank you. Um, so what are your methods for reaching out to freshmen or even like upcoming senior, seniors in high school when they're doing tours? Do you guys have any methods for that? Uh, so yeah, so right now um, I work for Campus Life. I work in the marketing department for Campus Life. Uh, so you know they have their little SOAR events that they do where typically like the seniors that are graduating high school come and visit the uh, college. Yeah. So I work pretty much those tables um, and most of the time, college, uh, not college, high school students will ask me, like, oh, what are you a part of or what do you do? I say, oh, I'm a part of Kings of Color. Like, I'm the president. You know, if you come here, you should, you know, check us out. You should yeah. see what we're doing. Um, give them the Instagram. You know, they follow us and just follow up on stuff that we're doing on campus. Also, we plan, like, for freshmen here on campus, we also try to do a lot of interactive events with them. So a lot of the times we go to the FYC uh, we go to Wise and just, you know, just chop it up with them, just see how they're doing. We really want to build that bond. I feel like that's important. If we, if we yeah. can build a bond with them, then they can, okay, okay, they're cool. We can we can see what they're about. We can yeah, probably bro, exactly. see what they're doing. So that's pretty much that, because that was my goal. When I wanted to be president, I said, I want to build a bond with the freshmen more. I want to build a bond, like freshmen, sophomore, even the juniors. I want to build a bond with them more. I want to get close with them so they can just have something to come to or gravitate towards so they know that they're not alone. Because I feel like most of the time while you're here, you can feel like you're isolated, you know? Right. Like you don't really belong. That's kind of me freshman year. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's a different, different atmosphere here, so. And I like how you mentioned juniors, too, because I know that, like, your junior year, you might be like, oh, well, it's too late. Like, I can't get involved in anything. But it sounds like you're still reaching out to mm-hmm. upperclassmen to join yeah. Kings of Color. That's awesome. Amazing. Oh, oh man. Uh, I, well, I want to talk more about you. We've been talking about yeah. Kings of Color. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Freddie, man, you feel me? I also want to talk about, because the Kings Week flyer, let it, can, can you just let the people know who made that flyer? It's BMF inspired. And like last year, what was it? Power? Oh, it was Power, yeah. Who, who does not flyers, man? Oh, that's me. It, it's you. That's the Instagram yeah. page, too. You said what? The Instagram page, too? Yeah, that's all me. So. That's, that's all aw- you. That's literally so awesome. Yeah. Just the fact me. that it was only two of you before, I find that so hard to believe. Yeah. Especially with all the events that you're planning and everything. So, yeah. That's yeah, nice. it's funny because when I first joined the org, like, when I, once I got in, they needed people, to like, to be on, like, chair positions, e-board yeah. positions. So they said, oh, deal. Your PR. I said, okay. <laughs> I'll do it. Like, okay. Like, I'm up for a challenge. Okay. I didn't know what I was getting myself into because that was really, like... So, you weren't into, like... Were you into graphic design before then? I kind of was. Some way. I didn't take it. So, like, before then, I had my own little... Uh, I guess my little party. Like, you know, party group. Right. So, like, this yeah. is, like, a different type of side hustle for me. Like, my freshman year. So, I used to make the party flyers for, like, my organization. Like, party group, business, whatever. Um, so I did that, but I wasn't taking it serious. Mm. Um, then I come here, they say, oh, you do party flyers. Like, maybe we can make some flyers for right. our events and stuff. So I'm like, okay, I'll give it a try. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, at first, I'm like, okay, oh, this is real good. Okay, they, like, they liking it. You know, everybody's liking it. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm getting better at it. You know, once you put your craft into something, you're, you're all into something, you get better at right. it. So Absolutely. I think, I want to say, when we got near, after the pandemic was over, it was that, that power flyer. That power flyer. It was, <laughs> like, yeah, so Johnny, like, Johnny was like, that's my VP, Johnny. Shout out to him. Shout out to Shout Johnny. Shout out to Johnny. Man. He was like, uh, yeah, man, we need to we need the power flyer. Because we originally we had somebody else do it, and it wasn't really powering. You know? <laughs> so yeah, so it wasn't given. So I did it. And this is like the day before. No, I think this is the day of St. Patty's. I did this. I did that whole flyer in like. Three hours. Wow. The yeah. power one. I did the power one. looks just like the freaking stars poster. Yes, I did that in three hours. I did that in my dorm on my phone. On your phone? That's on my phone, yeah. And um, I texted the group chat. I said, y'all, I think we got it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. I almost shed a tear. I think we got it. And then that's what happened. It just blew up. So Man, I had to just, I had to throw that in for you because I just wanted to ask you like what are like things outside of kings of color that you're passionate in and like it just looks to me that graphic design is one of them because i mean yeah you i would say yeah graphic design is something i am passionate about it's something i do want to like 
kind of make into a business, like a little side business. I just need to find the time. Like I said, I'm really heavily active on campus, so I just mm-hmm. gotta find the time. Yeah, I gotta find it. the time for it for real. So that might be after I graduate. Who knows? You should, man. That's amazing work. So, Thank what you. are your other passions then? Oh man. What are my other passions? <laughs> That's hard to think about. Yeah, it is yeah, hard to yeah. think about. I do a lot, so let's see. Um, I don't know. It's weird. So, like, I'm the type of person. I like to hang around with my friends a lot. Like, yeah. I just like to do stuff with my friends. We like to, I like to go out, whether that's, you know, playing basketball or just maybe going out to eat or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, just being active going out. I don't really like to stay in the house a lot of the times. Mm-hmm. I try to find something productive to do. So... Yeah, I don't, I'm not yeah, really. Yeah, yeah I'm really out going. I'll just <laughs> me. I'm just it's just work, work, work. That's that's yeah, just me. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, so what? Um, okay, let's say you just had a long day at work. You feel what I'm saying? You looking to do something fun that you enjoy? Where are you doing? You about to wind down? You about to chill? Get in yeah. your mode? What you about to do? I'm about to do. Mm, that's a good question. What am I going to do? Because I've never <laughs> had one of those days. Because typically, it's just probably but go to sleep. Work. <laughs> probably go to sleep. Probably go to sleep. But if I didn't feel like sleeping, um, I don't know. Probably just go go out to a... Probably go out to eat. I like to eat. I'm not... Yeah. I mean, yeah. I like to eat. I'd probably go out to eat. Probably to one of my favorite places, which is hard to... Say, because I don't know what my favorite place is. I like to eat a lot. I, I like, yeah, like anything, like anything. But yeah. Or maybe you just go downtown. Go downtown. Like yeah, walk. downtown Detroit, the river, or just walk downtown. I like, yeah, I like, I'm a nature person. I like, I like the nature, the environment. So just take a walk downtown. Just cruise, you know, just admire. Yeah. Atmosphere. Sound like we're on to something. We're talking yeah. about passion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What you enjoy? Yeah. Nature. What do you enjoy about nature? Man, just How does nature make make you feel when you walking down the river. Like or, calm, calm. You know? yeah. I'm a type of a, a beachy person. I like the beach. I like yeah. the palm trees. I like the oceans. Like I'm pretty like when I after I graduate, I kind of want to move down south somewhere, whether it's probably Florida, maybe water. yeah, somewhere close to the water. I feel it. Um, yeah, I just like the beach. I like the beach vibes. So, so can I ask, what are your post grad plans? Like, what's your major? Uh, marketing. Marketing, okay. Yeah, major well, marketing. that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good at it. Yeah, so right, right now, really, is, um, so I got my little internship with Campus Life, marketing internship. Uh, I just started pl- applying to different marketing firms and stuff, so I'm waiting to hear back from that. But, yeah, just really, just keep applying. Yeah. Whatever opportunity I get, is, that's what I'm going to take. Yeah. You know? um, just build my skills up as much as I can. Oh, that's right. Congrats on that internship too, man. How that's yeah, that's going? awesome. Thank you. It's going good. It's going good. Yeah, I like I like the uh, like the like the campus life employees. It's really family oriented, like mm. welcoming. They're really welcoming. Really welcome, yeah, I have a lot of fun with them. Really nice people. So nice. anybody want to uh, work for campus life, you know, <laughs> tap in with them because they will treat you right. They will treat you well. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Any more questions? Um, no, uh, just one more. Is yeah. there anything that you want to add about Kings of Color before we wrap things up? Oh, yeah. Anything I want to add about Kings? Um, actually, yeah, it is. Uh, oops. This is really just for any man out there, even woman, who just wants to just, I don't know, grow, grow as a person, wants to do something, impact the community, impact campus, come find us. Come 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 see us. Cause we, we still looking for people. We still we like we used to be used to be a lot of us, you mm-hmm. know, or a lot of people graduate. Like after COVID happened, like people just started going, started graduating, so like the numbers started dying down. I forgot to mention we got the highest graduation rate too in our work. So hey. like nice. pretty much, yeah. that's awesome. Pretty, everybody who joins, they pretty they graduate. So mm-hmm. That's important. For y'all helping and giving each other that push. Yeah, like yeah. that's one that's one of the things we do in our orgs too. We keep each other accountable. We mm-hmm. push each other we push, push each other to be the best that we can be academically and professionally. Yeah. Um yeah, like school first. That's the main thing for us. School we came here to graduate, you know, get our diploma, get our education. So we, we do put school first before anything. Absolutely. So yeah. 
come tap in with Kings. And, and if anybody is interested in joining Kings or contacting y'all or, you know, interested, want to ask y'all any questions, where can they reach y'all at? Uh, you can reach us at our Instagram, which is EMU underscore Kings. Um, we do have a Twitter, but I don't know. Twitter's kind of... You prefer Instagram? Yeah, I prefer Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got you. We got you. All right. So at EMU underscore Kings on Instagram. On Instagram. Yeah. All right, y'all, man. Y'all know where to DM if y'all got any questions y'all trying to join, man. We appreciate you coming on here, telling us about Kings of Color, man. There we have it. Yeah. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. (laughs) Nice to meet y'all. Thank y'all. All All right. Thank y'all, man. That wraps up this episode again. I'm Queso Tone. I'm Sarayanis. And I'm Dylan. And catch y'all next time. Yes, sir.